How is it going guys? Drew Peacock here back with another video and today we're going to be taking a look at some subscriber cars and I'm going to tell you my opinion on them. Keyword, my opinion. It's just an opinion. You don't have to get upset by it. So don't get upset by an opinion. I'm just going to go over the cars and say some things I like and some things I might not like so much. I don't expect all of you to like my car and if you don't, it's fine. I have nothing against you guys if you don't. Even if it's just, well it's a Mustang bro. That's fine. I got something else coming on the way and it ain't just a Mustang. I'll tell you that. So Let's go ahead and dive right in. If we get this video to 5,000 likes, I will do a subscriber build battle. So go hit that like button and then submit your pictures to my email, drewpeacock.clips at gmail.com. You can see it in the description if I read it too fast. Let's dive right in. I'm gonna try to go through the cars at a pretty good pace. We have a good amount of them pulled. So let's get started with the first car. First car, Infinity G35, Nardo Gray, of course. Everyone and their mama loves Nardo Gray. Fitment is pretty damn good. Color scheme, I like it. Nothing too excessive on it, no giant wing, just overall a really clean build. It's not in your face. Interior, he has some harnesses, some bride seats, really nice. Infinity gets a thumbs up from me. V6 Mustang though, with neon underglow, toe strap, and hood pins. Oh, it's a different story for this car. Yeah, this is like the complete opposite of what I would do. There's nothing wrong with owning a V6 Mustang. I owned one for a while. It's a good daily driver if you need a car. But doing this is just a little bit too much it's just not my taste it's not what i would do to the car hood pins i mean you only really should do hood pins if you're going at high speeds or you have an aftermarket hood and it won't like latch correctly yeah that's uh factory hood though <laughs> you're just devaluing the car toe strap not my favorite uh wheels not my favorite leds not my favorite it's just pretty much what i wouldn't do to the car nissan 350z roadster the drop top version Again, not my favorite. I'd prefer the hard top 350. I'm not a fan of convertibles in general, but this one just it just looks weird. With the top down, it doesn't look so bad, but with the top up, it just it's we've all seen it. We've we've all seen it. You can like it, it's fine. It's just not my taste. The wheel's a little bit too big for my taste, but overall not the worst thing ever. It's for sure better than that V6 Mustang. Next car, Dodson 240Z. God, I've wanted these for a while. I was trying to get one a long time ago as a project car before I was even like doing YouTube. But they're just, to find a decent one, you're, you're going to be spending an arm and a leg. Uh, to find a shitty one, uh, well, yeah, anyone can find a shitty car. This one right here, a very clean one, though, red and white. I love it. Wheel set up nice. I would say lowered a little bit, but it's, it's a classic. You know, you don't really want to scrape on everything. With this nice paint job, too, I don't mind. A Mazda hot hatch. Looks fine here. We have a weird little rustic hood, I guess. I don't know if he just wrapped it or if it's sanded or what, but a, a little different of a car. You know, if I do say so myself, a little bit different. And then we go extremely different on a Mazda. I think this is a first. I don't know if I've ever seen Lambo doors on a Mazda before, especially not a hot hatch like this. <laughs> I don't know. This is new. Uh, I think we might be breaking history right here. So Lambo doors, love them or hate them. Everyone's got an excuse when they have them. Um, not not my favorite, especially on this. Not my favorite. But, but it looks like he's going for the whole out there look with the, the rusted hood and the TE37 wraps and all that fun stuff. So you know what? I'm sure he has fun with this car. Damn, there's a lot of stickers on this car. Just not my taste. When I was pulling these photos from my email, I thought this was a Z01 at first because it was just a tiny photo of it. But once I clicked on it, I was like, ah, it's a RS with like the Z01 Aero package. Well, let's take a look at it. We have an RS Camaro with a Z01 1LE package, kind of. It doesn't have the Z01 front bumper, but he has the canards and the giant rear wing that the Z01 1LE comes with. This guy also went and added aggressive stickers. Aggressive stickers. Yeah. Okay, tow hook, whatever. If you take it to the track, it's not the worst thing ever. The rear end of this car, I mean, it's a good looking rear end. If I saw this on the freeway, I would think it's a Z01 because it's debadged and it looks like a Z01. But the front end, I mean, it just gets a little tacky up there. The stickers don't help it a lot. I mean, if you take it to the track, this stuff is functional. But if you're just driving around to get groceries, it's not too functional. You obviously have way too big of tires on those wheels. They are ballooning out like a crazy MF. These are probably eight or nine inch wheels, I'm guessing. And you put like a 305 in the back. That is way too big. Oh, sweet. Classic Honda. And look at that paint job. God, my buddy would have a strong erection over this car. Hell, I think I'm starting to feel chub right now. These classic Hondas, man, they're just, they look like a whole lot of fun to drive around a track. And this one that looks specifically designed for it, oh, it's got to be a blast. Just being tossed around in that seat with whatever wiggle room you probably have. There's probably not much in that seat. That seat looks very, very secured. God, this just looks like a, oh, man, you're making me want to buy one of these just because, just gut it, just do whatever you want to and just have a whole lot of fun with it. I mean, look at that rear end too. God, these CRXs, they are so sick. And then the, the window too right here that's just riveted on, just a full race car look. Well, 
Maybe one day I'll buy one of these. This is triple thumbs up from me, if you know what I'm talking about. Wait, a GTR? <laughs> Wait a second. Nope, nope, smells like an Infinity. It smells like shit. Don't know why you would do this to your car. I feel like we see this once a week, once every two weeks for sure. Just some dude out there making their Infinity resemble a GTR. He didn't go as far as to throw the GTR badges on it, but we know what he's doing with that front bumper. He didn't just buy that front bumper because it looks cool. It looks like a GTR. That's the whole point of it. The, the whole thing looks like a GTR. The headlights look like GTR headlights. The whole point of it is to look like a GTR. But with an automatic shifter, I mean, I guess he's closer to a GTR than a manual Infinity. So, it's technically correct. A Genesis. I think this is the first Genesis of the episode. They're starting to grow on me. You know what? I'll give them props. Genesis is... Genesis I? Is that correct? Genesis? No, that doesn't sound right. These Genesi, that sounds worse. They're starting to grow on me, though. I gotta drive one and see what they're all about. This one though, Deadpool themed, just, eh, just a little bit too. Again, I'm not into all of that showboaty, you know, loud and looking crazy. I'm not, I'm not into all that. I'm not into huge wings. I'm not into like crazy raps and stuff like that. So, you know, there, there's some raps that I think look cool when they're done right, but th this type of just like Deadpool wrapped on the trunk or Deadpool stickers on the front bumper, it's just, eh, it's a little bit too much for me. Not my taste. It's it, it's more following the show car aspect of the car scene, which I'm not a huge part of. I'd rather go racing, so that's why I like that. But this is more of the show car scene, and it's just, it's not my taste. Without the Deadpool stuff, though, and the wing, it's not that bad of a car. Get these flares paint matched, and it's not that bad. Volkswagen, we got another hot hatch here. This is one of the cars that a lot of people are actually telling me to get. I don't think I will because I already got something else coming. I've just never really been a fan of these. They seem like fun, but they're just, they're, I don't know. This just style, I mean, like, it looks like a Honda Fit. It's just, it's just not for me. And you can't hide your damage with a stupid sticker on your fender. You're just drawing more attention to it. I hope you know that. We know what's underneath that sticker. Just a bunch of damage. Just take off the sticker. Just fix your fender. Fix your fitment. SN95 Mustang. Ugh. Drifting one of these looks like a whole lot of fun. If you guys want a car that you can modify and do a lot of shit to and work on, buy a Mustang. You, you will never be bored. You can always do something to a Mustang. This one right here, very clean paint job. Well kept. Don't know why it's on two different wheel setups, but maybe he's ready to hit a track. God, if you own this car, I hate you. I'm just saying it right now. If you own this car, if this is you and you're behind me on the freeway, I hate you. I hate you so much. Uh, other than that, though, I mean, <laughs> all jokes aside, it's... God, now, you know, looking at it more, I'm starting to hate you more. You got the big antenna and everything. Oh, my God. Uh, I'm sure you have fun just pranking people and scaring the shit out of them. But, for oh God, if this thing pulled up behind me on the freeway, I would be shitting bricks. Look at it. It just looks like a cop car. There's not anything really on it that gives it away besides the louvers. But if it's behind you and you're looking in your rearview mirror, you're probably not going to notice that. And you might think it's the cage or whatever to hold back the criminals. God. Oh, you were just a big, you were a dick. <laughs> Other than that, though, I mean, you, you did what you were trying to do. You made it look like a, a police car, so good job. Ooh, an FD RX-7, another car that a lot of people are telling me to get. I just don't think I could. I, I just don't think I'd want to handle the maintenance and that. Like, every time you're driving it, I just feel like I'd be killing it, so... Other than that, though, really nice looking car. I mean, look at that. Look at the, the lines on this car, the doors and everything. It's just so perfect. It's a nice looking car. I see why a lot of people drop LSs into these, because they look nice. It's a great platform to do it on, but God, I mean, just without the rotary, is it, is it still an RX-7? I mean, look at that. Beautiful underneath the hood. Not a bunch of just shit randomly placed. I like it. No no pool noodles, too. Thumbs up. And look at this shot right here. Oh, oh, it's such a good photo. Guys, I'll be right back. I need to go get some lotion. Fitment A1. Just everything about this car. I like it. It's sleek. Oh, God. Whoa, what on God's green earth is this? A Mustang? Um, Making us look bad one car at a time. God. Uh, well, it's clearly not in America. The license plate gives it away. And I don't know if anyone in America has this crazy of taste. Does it look bad? There's aspects of it that don't look too bad, I guess. The front bumper looks like the Mustang, um, what is it called? The Rocket? I think it's called. Correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments. It looks like that. The wide body looks fine. The Lambo doors, though, and the wheels just, the wheels look like something off of an exotic. They just do not belong on a Mustang. Not at all. You need some crazy deep concave wheels for a crazy wide body like that. That would be sick. Lambo doors, though, just not doing it yeah those wheels just they, they look like something that belong on like a cheap like lambo or something and i know a lot of people are like cheap lambo that doesn't make sense like like just like an, an early model like gallardo or something nothing too expensive you know you could buy you could pick up one of those for under 100k easy they just don't look like they belong on this car and then those taillights too and it's a v6 oh god it's just hurting me more Ford GT taillights. I know a lot of you were butthurt that I was calling them Ferrari taillights. Dude, they're circles. They look like the stupid Ferrari taillights. Same shit, same difference. Just not a fan of them. Just, ugh, they look stupid, especially on a V6. 
<laughs> Another Genesis. And this one I think is cleaner than the other one. Wow, look at that. Fitment A1, little wide body on it. I like it. It's subtle. You have to notice it. The paint and the color looks nice. I'm not a fan of the wheels too much. Wheels is a hard point. Wheels, it's hard to get wheels right on a car, especially because wheels are so specific to people's tastes. So if someone isn't a fan of your wheels, don't get offended by it. These just, it's way too many spokes for me. But other than that, I mean, this is probably the cleanest genesis of the episode. All right, you guys don't need to go around and bully people, man. You guys, this person's just trying to get groceries and you guys pulled up on him and started taking photos of his car, man. Ah, oh, that's just so disrespectful. Honda, 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 when are you boys gonna stop doing the stupid shit to your car? A fake hood scoop, some vortex generators placed in a really odd position, and then some placed in the normal position, so don't know what's going on there. Wing, that is doing a neutral downforce. It's just keeping them in place for the ride. Honda boys just, you guys gotta educate each other. There's Honda boys that know what they're doing, and then there's Honda boys like this that don't know anything about cars, and you guys just need to help them out. Just tell them, hey man. Look, I know it looks cool to you, but to everyone else, he looks stupid, which is true. This Honda boy, on the other hand, now this is a pretty sick looking Integra. Carbon fiber hood, nice aftermarket headlights, wheel setup looks pretty sick. Just a really sleek and real subtle little Acura Integra sedan. He ain't out here doing too much. He's just out here to pull up and chill. That's all he's, that's all he's trying to do. He's just trying to chill. Just let him chill. Let a boy chill. Anyways, that's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up. Comment down below which car was your favorite. I'm going to have to say either one of my favorites was that Genesis or no, for sure that RX-7. That RX-7, I'm still, I'm still a little hard over that one. Get this video to 5,000 likes and we will do a subscriber build battle. Subscribe to see more videos like this one. And until next video, peace.